after I got them. Obviously when you first get them you've got to do the thing where you float the bag, add in the water, the lights have to be off, all of that jazz. So I didn't bother filming them on the first day because I wanted them to settle in. But um, as you can see, they're doing quite well. Um, I'm surprised. I honestly felt like knowing my luck I'd get them and at least one of them would die. But so far so good. It's working out well. So first off we'll talk about the shrimps. So I only got three of them because they are actually quite expensive. They were three for £13. They're actually more expensive than the fish. I was originally going to get orange cherry shrimp but I was with my dad at the time and he said they look like bits of carrot and he was not impressed. So um, I paid a little bit more and got the golden back yellow shrimp and I really love how they sort of reflect and light up um, under the aquarium lights but um, they're, they're pretty cool to watch you can always see them in the tank they're always on the moss or around the moss balls um, or when they actually swim through the water it's quite funny and the good thing about them is if the tetras ever miss some food or they just you know they don't eat it it drops to the bottom the shrimp will definitely eat it so even um, with the tetras you can feed them like frozen or alive bloodworms and fish flakes anything like that the shrimp will just also clear up for you so those and the snails are great custodians for the tank and obviously this being a fairly small tank the snails the shrimp are equally as a big deal as the fish are so um although they would be kind of in a really big tank they'll be just small custodians nobody really worries about they are kind of a big deal in my tank and I actually found one of the snails had died so when I was floating the bags around I, I was moving a few bits around in the tank and I found one and it was just near the sponge filter and for some reason it had died I have no clue why um, it's a shame but these things happen now as for the fish as I've said they're very secretive I don't get to see them very much it's kind of difficult to film them sometimes I find that they like the shadier areas a lot more which when doing research I know that's sort of more of their natural environment so that makes sense um, and what I found was whenever I'd go in the room if they were near the front of the tank they would tend to swim to the back so what I did is I left my phone on a time lapse and I actually was able to capture them uh, swimming back and forth from the shaded area at the back to the front and that's where I leave their food mainly at the front so that encourages them to come forward and the only fish I've had prior to this a goldfish and um, obviously when, when you just have like one goldfish you don't get to see schooling fish so for me even though I've seen this in aquatic shops and aquariums seeing my own pets sort of school is really cool to see I don't know the genders of the fish, we'll soon see what happens if they breed, but um, overall they seem to be doing really well and I'm pretty happy. The ember tetras are actually really tiny, when I saw them come out in the net to obviously be put in their bag, I was like they are really really tiny, so although they may appear big on camera and for some reason my tank sometimes comes across kind of small on camera, I don't know why. Um, I feel like they do have plenty of room in the tank. I know people have different opinions but a lot of you guys actually suggested Ember Tetras to me for my size tank and I think they're getting on pretty well with it. So, oh also, one last thing, I did test my water the other day and the pH level finally reduced because since January or February when I first set up this tank the pH level has always been 8.2 and someone suggested adding in almond leaves and it worked eventually. For the first two weeks nothing happened but suddenly it dropped to 7.4 to 7.6 and I do believe it will probably drop a little bit more hopefully. I think if we get 7 to 7.5 I'll be happy. But overall everything is going well so I'm happy. Thank you for st staying with me this whole time because I know I thought I would be getting shrimp much earlier in the year but we finally got there. We have Pepe, Patricia and Paloma and hopefully they will reproduce and we'll have some more. So thank you for watching guys and goodbye.